All right, third video, last one for now, about how to solve Newton's second law problems. This problem has two bodies that are somehow coupled together. In this case, we have two boxes that are tied together with a rope, and the rope goes over a massless, frictionless pulley. So basically, the pulley does nothing in this problem except for redirect the rope. Um, later in the year, we'll do problems where the pulley itself like, has to be accelerated in order to turn. But that is a rotational dynamics problem. We're not doing that right now. OK, so turns out the two objects is almost the same as one object. You just do everything twice. That's all. It's just, just do everything twice. So here's my little system. Now, the problem is with your two objects, you actually need two systems of like directions. Some people try to do one big direction, like of the whole system. So I'm actually going to do it both ways to show you the difference. So like um, this box, just this box, the five kilogram box, right? So I'm going to do a little arrow thing right next to it. I might make like up positive and down negative for that box. But then for the other box, I have to go the other way. And here's why, OK? Basically, because these are coupled down together with a rope, they need to move together and they need to accelerate together. That means their directions need to match up when they move. So like, let's say, just for argument's sake, that the five kilogram box moves up or accelerates up, okay? When that happens, the other box is going to go down because that's just how things work. Like if the rope if this box moves up, then there'll be more rope to let the other box come down. So I need to couple the up motion of the five kilogram box with the down motion of the seven kilogram box so that both of those motions have the same sign, in this case, positive. I have seen some people where they'll do like a whole system thing. Well, they'll do the, I'm actually gonna erase that thing with the massless frictionless pulley here just because it's in the way. OK, um, I've seen people do this where they'll do like one big, long like arrow and they'll say like everything going this way is negative and that way is positive. So they're trying to like couple together like on this end that means down is negative for the five and up is positive and on this side like the whole system. You can't see me. I like to do this thing with my hands stupid webcam is laggy. Um, anyway, you have to make sure that the directions like work out for this. Okay, so step one is like, you know, establish directions and look a little diagram. Next we need our free body diagrams. So you're going to need two of these, one for each object. So here's the five kilogram and here is the seven kilogram. And here are their axes. That was bad. Let's just do that one again. I don't really need x axes on these. Nothing's going to move in the x. So I'm just I'm just going to leave them off. Okay. So the five kilogram, this way will be positive y, and this way will be negative y. And the seven kilogram, this way will be negative y, and this way will be positive y. Okay. Forces. Looking at the five kilogram, ask yourself the same questions that we've always asked. Is there gravity? Yes, indeedy, and that is always down. Put that one in. In this case, that's going to be five times 9.8 is, oh my goodness, 40, no, no, that's right, 49? This is the first time in this year that I've like been doing these problems. By the end of this unit, like you're going to accidentally memorize 9.8 times a bunch of different numbers. You just kind of memorize a multiplication table of 9.8s. It's just something that happens. OK. All right, so is there gravity? Yes, here it is. Is there anything touching this box? Yes, there's a rope on top. So there should be a tension force pulling up. Don't know what it is, though. Just going to label it tension, OK? This is one of the things I'm going to look for. I'm trying to find the acceleration of the whole system and the tension in the rope. I forgot to draw attention to that earlier, sorry. OK, anything else touching this box? No, so we're done with that one. Let's look at the other one. 
ask yourself the questions again. Is there gravity? Yes, of course there is. There always is. So down, always down. This one is 7 times 9.8, which is 68.6. Okay. Is there anything touching this box? Yes, a rope on the top. So there's a tension pulling up. Now, this is kind of cool. As long as that is a massless frictionless pulley, which it is, even though I erased it, um, the tension will be the same throughout the rope. That is on, like on both ends of the rope. So if this box was being pulled up by tension T, so is the other box. Now if the, this wasn't a massless frictionless pulley, we'd need to label them as different tensions like T1 and T2. But it is T1 equals T2, which I'm just going to call T. So this is also T, okay? Um, and those are the same size, the same magnitude, okay? Please note, when you do this, um, when you have like a tension that shows up on two places, if you've done your directions correctly, okay, essentially they should be opposite signs. So like in the left diagram, T is a positive because it's the positive way, and in the right hand side T is a negative, okay, so yeah, if you've done your directions correctly, the two places that your tension shows up should be opposite signs. If they're the same sign, you've messed up with your directions. Go fix it. Okay. All right. So that was step two. Draw your free body diagrams. Step three would be if there were any um, if there were any vectors at angles that we need to break up. We don't. We're skipping that. Next step is Newton's second law. Okay. Um, in component form. Now there's nothing going on in the x, so usually you know you'd write both of them. But nothing's happening in x, so I don't care. I'm just going to do y. But you have to do this for both pictures. So I've got f not y equals m a y of this picture, and I have f not y equals m a y of the other picture. However, these a's will be the same, the same a y, because these two things are coupled together with a rope. They have to move together, um, which means they need to have the same um, velocity at any given time, and they need to have the same acceleration at any given time. Okay. Otherwise, the rope would either snap or go slack, and it's not going to snap. Let's assume it doesn't snap, and if it went slack, there would be no tension at all. So we're going to assume that none of those things happen. Okay, fill in what you can. So that's so next step, fill in what you can. F net y for this picture, well I've got t in the positive and 49 in the negative, so f net y becomes t minus 49. On the right hand side I've got this mass times this acceleration a. I'm just going to call it a instead of ay because yes it is in the y direction but it is also the only acceleration so I'm just going to call it a. On the right hand side um, picture same thing f net y now I've got 68.6 .6 in the positive direction and t is in the negative direction so this one's going to look like 68.6 .6 minus t this mass is 7 but same a okay same a this means that now I'm on my last step, um, fill, in, fill in Newton's second law for both of them, and now I'm on my last step, which is solve the system of equations, which is I have this system, these two equations with the unknowns t and a, and you solve it as a system, and I don't really care how you solve it, you can use substitution or the thing when you put them on top of each other and like subtract, I don't really know what else there is, I don't remember anything, I just use substitution all the time. Anyway, solve the system. Um, I'm going to pause this and solve it myself so you can get them. Okay, never mind, I'm just going to solve it. Um, t would equal 5a plus 49, and then I can sub, sub that in over here and get 68.6 .6 minus the quantity 5a minus plus 49 equals 7a, 
um, distribute that minus and combine like terms and I'm gonna get, let's see, I'm gonna get 68 minus 49, mm, 19.6. I'm going to add this negative 5a to the other side and that will get me 12a. So a is, um, positive 1.63. per second squared and t put that back over here that makes t 57.16666 forever you may have noticed I've completely disregarded sig fig rules for this I don't even care right now it's after 10 o'clock at night for me that's late for me um, okay checking on things let's check to make sure this works that this makes sense Okay, first, the sign of acceleration. I got a positive number. That means that this thing as a whole system is going to accelerate like this way, which makes sense because if I set up two boxes hanging by a rope over a pulley and let them go, it should accelerate toward like the heavier side. So that makes sense. Okay, so that the sign makes sense, that's good. Um, I got a positive number for the magnitude of the tension. That's, that's a good sign. So I'm probably good, frankly. Okay, and uh, yeah.